Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you this soft blue smoky winged eyeliner look. Um, I think this actually gives me kind of like spring vibes, even though it's still winter. I'm already really looking forward to spring. So let's just start with some spring looks to already get in the vibe. So I'll be using my palette that I created together with Sigma Beauty and the star of the show is the color Lana, which is a light blue color. But before I go in with that shade, I'm first gonna go in with the color Cottage. I have already applied some eyeshadow primer and I set it with a little bit of powder to make sure that the primer was locked in place. Then after using that white color underneath the highest point of my brow, I went in with the color Lana. And this shade is called Lana because it's the name of my niece and her favorite color used to be like that light blue color. So it really reminds me of her. So I'm gonna blend this all over in my crease, also all over my eyelid, but I just started with blending it in my crease. And then I just kept adding more and more and then I just blended it more towards the eyelid and just kind of like making those tapping motions, just making sure that it's everywhere. Um, and then also making those like circular motions more around like the outer part of the eyelid. Of course, everything I'm doing at one side of my eye, I'm also doing at the other side. And then for the next step, I'm gonna go in with the color Gleam, which is a really soft, sparkly shade. And this is really nice to apply on top of like a different eyeshadow to make it look more sparkly, but in a really soft way. So just applying this all over the eyelid and I'm just using my finger because I feel like using your fingers is just the easiest way. And you can add a few layers, it just depends on how intense you want it to be, but I'm going for a soft look. And I'm just kind of tapping it on. Then again, I went back in with the color Lana, this time with a Sigma Beauty flat definer brush. I have a special discount code for Sigma Beauty, which I have linked down in the description bar. And just applying this underneath the lower lash line. And then after that, I went in with their wing liner brush. Well, it's actually not their wing liner brush. It's the E75. It's, I believe, called the angled brow brush. Uh, but I really like to use this brush for my wing liner. So I first started with a line above the lash line. And then after that, I'm going to create a wing liner. I tried to make it as sharp as possible, but after this, I actually decided to do like a winged smudgy liner. So I shouldn't have done it like so sharp. It was not really necessary, but you know, it still looks nice. So I think it doesn't really matter. So after using the jaw eyeliner, I went in with this, um, I believe this eyeliner is from Nikita Dragon, if I'm not mistaken, her beauty brand. Uh, it's actually super black, so I really liked using it, but it was just a little bit easier to create like a super sharp wing liner and I was just surprised how black it is. Or maybe it's not, I think it's actually the Makeup by Mario. I am just seeing like the text on the eyeliner and it looks more like the Makeup by Mario eyeliner, but it's really nice, super black. So after doing that, I went back in with the flat diviner brush from Sigma and I went in with the color Levine and I just softly blended this right above the wing liner. And this will give it more of like that smudgy effect. I don't think I've actually used this brush for this particular step before, but it worked really nice. Um, so yeah, definitely would recommend using this brush for this step because it looked really good. So I just tried to make the black look a little bit more softer around the edges. I just took my time with this to kind of like softly smudge it a bit higher. And then after this step, I'm going to blend it out even more, but I will be going in with a different color to make that a little bit more blended out. So I went in with the color 1992 and blending more of this color above that black eyeliner and eyeshadow. And this will give a really cool effect. I actually love because this is like a different kind of blue. It has more of like a purpley blue undertone, if that makes sense. And I kind of love the effect that it gives in combination with that light blue color. I think it looks really pretty together. And I also really like how the transition is currently looking. That goes like from black to the blue. So then I went in with a concealer brush. I applied a little bit of concealer to really make that wing liner look super sharp, like underneath the wing. Um, and I feel like that makes a huge difference. It just makes everything look way more 
blend it out and just more neat in general. So focused on making that look more neat. Then I blended it out with my finger and then we're gonna focus on the lower lash line. So I went back in with the color Lana on a tiny blending brush and just smudging more of this color all the way underneath the lower lash line. Just kept adding more to really blend it out. Just sweeping my brush back and forth. <laughs> Then I went back in with the color 1992 and using a flat definer brush again, applying a little bit of this color at the outer part underneath the lower lash line as well, um, just to make it a little bit darker and also kind of connecting it with the wing liner to make sure that the wing kind of connects the lower lash line. I don't know, but just to make everything blend together, basically. Then I went in with a blue pencil for in the wad line. The one that I used is from Tarte Cosmetics. And then I went in with the color Cottage, which is that white matte color. And I applied this for in the inner corner just to give it that pop. You can also use the color Gleam, that sparkly shade that I used like all over the eyelid. But I think a matte color actually looks super pretty and it just brightens everything up. Then it was time to curl the lashes because it's already time for mascara. I'm gonna go in with my favorite mascara, which is the Lancome Hypnose Mascara, which I have been really liking lately. Then I went in with these fake lashes from the Balm Cosmetics, also super pretty. I really like lash styles like this one. Not too dramatic, not too neutral. They're just like the perfect amount of fluffiness. I just really like them. So apply them above the lashes. I do have a separate video where I kind of show my tips and tricks on how to apply lashes. If you need some tips and tricks, I will make sure to link it down below. And here you see the before and here you see the after and the lashes are just so pretty. So yeah, this was the end of the video. I really hope you all like how it looked. Let me know if this is something you would try. I know it's like a blue color, so maybe a bit more out of your comfort zone. But if you have like brown eyes, like definitely give it a go. I'm sure it's going to look stunning on you and it just gives me spring vibes and I'm so excited for spring. So I hope you guys are excited too. Uh, let me know what kind of video you want to see next. I was thinking about doing some more dramatic smoky eyes, just a little bit more intense looks. Let me know if you're into that. And yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.